Falcon 9 Block 5 is a two-stage to-orbit medium-lift launch vehicle designed and manufactured by SpaceX in the United States. It is the fifth version of Falcon 9 full thrust. It is powered by Merlin engines, also developed by SpaceX, burning liquid oxygen and rocket-grade kerosene propellants. SpaceX announced in 2017 that Falcon 9 Block 5 version has now succeeded the transitional Block 4. The largest changes between Block 3 and Block 5 are higher thrust on all of the engines and improvements on landing legs. Additionally, numerous small changes will help streamline recovery and reusability of first stage boosters. Alterations are focused on increasing the speed of production and efficiency of reusability. SpaceX aims to fly each Block 5 booster 10 times with only inspections in between, and up to 100 times with refurbishment. The maiden flight launched the satellite Bangabandhu 1 on May 11, 2018. The CRS-15 mission on June 29, 2018 was the last Block 4 version of Falcon 9 to be launched. This was the transition to an all-Block 5 fleet. Overview The Block 5 design changes are principally driven by upgrades needed for NASA's Commercial Crew Program and National Security Space Launch requirements. They include performance upgrades, manufacturing improvements, and «probably 100 or so changes» to increase the margin for demanding customers in April 2017 SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said that block 5 will feature 7 to 8% more thrust by upgrading the engines from 176000 pounds force 780000 n to 190000 pounds force 850000 n per engine Block 5 includes an improved flight control system for an optimized angle of attack on the descent, lowering landing fuel requirements. For reusability endurance Expected to be able to be launched at least 10 times Up to 100 uses with refurbishment A reusable heat shield protecting the engines and plumbing at the base of the rocket more temperature-resistant cast and machined titanium grid fins A thermal protection coating on the first stage to limit re-entry heating damage, including a black thermal protection layer on the landing legs, raceway, and interstage Redesigned and requalified valves for higher levels and much longer duration Redesigned composite overwrapped pressure vessels for helium, named COPV 2.0, to avoid oxygen freezing inside the structure of the tanks that lead to rupture, for rapid reusability. Reduced refurbishment between flights. A set of retractable landing legs for rapid recovery and shipping. The octaweb structure is bolted together instead of welded, reducing manufacturing time. Topic: <laughs> Human rating. NASA currently requires 7 flights without major design changes before the vehicle can be certified for human spaceflight for carrying NASA astronauts. The initial Block 5 boosters did not have the newly redesigned composite overwrapped pressure vessel COPV tanks. The first booster to include the new COPV tanks was Booster B1047 on the Esahail 2 mission on November 15, 2018, with the second flight of a booster with the COPV tanks being with Falcon 9 Booster B1050, which was launched for the first time on December 5, 2018. 
Changes to the grid fin hydraulic system have also been proposed, following the malfunction of booster B1050 during re-entry and landing, it is unknown how this will affect the seven flight count. Block 5 is planned to launch astronauts for the first time in July 2019 on mission SPX2 German Marks. See also BFR launch system Falcon Heavy, three Falcon 9 strapped together List of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launches <laughs>